Hey guys, it's Weston with WBank Media. Just real quick today, we're going to be going over the content calendar. Uh, this is just a calendar that helps you basically separate all of your different social media posts for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, whatever you're posting on, you're able to put these in a calendar and separate them and see them um, and be able to to organize your posts this way. So something that, that I found is super helpful for, for us and our team um, is using this calendar. Um, the first thing that you're going to go ahead and need to do is create a Airtable.com account. We're right over here in Air, Airtable. Um, just go to Airtable.com, create an account, um, you'll be able to get in. Um, and I'll have a link to this calendar posted right below this video or above, depending on where you find this video. So um, go ahead and click the link and it'll take you right to it after you create an account. Um, so like I said today, it's a really simple, easy calendar. Shouldn't take long. Um, pretty straightforward. The first thing that we have in this calendar is just the headline or the copy of your post. So here you can go ahead and click in here, double click, and you're able to type whatever you want. Um, so this is just the headline or the copy of your post. Second is the creative. So you just go right over here, click the plus icon, click the plus icon again, and you're able to upload directly from your computer the type of creative, the video, image, graphic, whatever you want to put in your post right here. So you can, as you can see, you have both of them right here. Another part that I like is on Facebook, um, at least um, with some other platforms, you can go ahead and schedule posts. Um, and so you can go ahead and click here um, to see if your posts had been scheduled. Um, that way you know, oh yeah, that one already published. We already used that post in the past. Um, or yeah, that, that, was, that was done at this time and date. So um, another thing is the author who on your team, maybe it's just you, maybe you don't even need this field, but if you have a team um, of a few people, you can go ahead and click author, um, and that way you can see who created the post. The next thing is publish date. So say you're creating posts for next month. What you do is you just go ahead and double click, and it'll pull up a calendar. You can say, okay, in December, um, I wanna go ahead and publish this on December 4th, and then you can also select the time that you wanna schedule this for. So maybe I wanna schedule this for um, December 4th at 4 p.m. Um, then what you can do is go back through into Facebook, schedule all your posts on Facebook, and this way um, it gets you a, a really kind of an easy idea to see where all of your posts are at um, and, and really just have a record of all the posts that you've used. Uh, maybe you want to use a post from Facebook and apply it to Instagram, um, or maybe you want to use a post from LinkedIn and apply it to Facebook, whatever that is. Another thing that you have over here is the platform. Go ahead and click here and then click the drop down arrow and you have different options for different platforms that you'd be using. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. You can add more, you can take away more. Maybe you're just using Facebook, maybe you're using just Instagram. Whatever that may be, you can just go ahead and click here and use whatever one you'd like. So like I said, guys, this is just a really straightforward and easy way to organize the content that you create for social media. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and message us on our Facebook page at WBank Media. We'd love to help you guys. We, we love your questions. We'd love to answer those. So go ahead and hit, hit us up on there. And thanks for watching.